Yoshi. Dark Samus Yoshi. Yeah, I'm Dark Samus Samus. It, the That's only difference matter. is like the low hanging hitboxes on those ones. Yeah. And they're very minute. Oh? It's enough to matter in some instances. Yes, it is. For very short characters, it's like a lot I'm really not sure how this matchup plays out. I feel like this is somewhat Yoshi favored. Yeah, I think Yoshi gets to just straight up out frame data. Mm -hmm. uh, Dark Samus in exactly. many ways. Much. Especially since a lot of uh, Samus is like, oh, oh my yeah. god. Just run that is just straight Ouch. up unfortunate. Holy cow. Yeah, well, that definitely tells Abra to stop playing as a. You, gotta, you can't just camp the entire time. You gotta play a little bit. No. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Dry Heart Train's just going in on him. And one thing that I was gonna kind of like focus on a little bit was that. Uh, this offstage game is going to be what's really important for Try Hard Train. Because Samus is like one of those characters that she's got some tools to get back on stage, but like the moment like you can predict like a jump or you force on an air dodge, like what is Samus going to be doing out of that? She Nothing. Really, she can like kind of stall with her bombs, which makes it kind of ambiguous as to where she's going to go, but as soon as she commits to an option to get back, you can just run off and intercept. And with Yoshi, you just have amazing edge guard tools in forward air, nair, and back air. And with Samus, because if they're forced into a tether grab situation, all you have to do is throw out some type of hitbox while yep. Samus is in that Tarzan swing, and Samus is going to just hit the like hit the stage. So, I'm not going down without a fight, though. He's kind of getting into his groove, spacing out a little bit. Yeah, he's slowly trying to like chip back this like advantage. But like right now, Tryhard is playing very smart and very safe. Just kind of like picking his battles, and he's not really like over committing on shield, which is something that he's kind of like done in the past, especially when he's got just like a eight. lead. He wants to just get that kill. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's just ate two shark shots though. That's kind of getting a little antsy for the kill, I think. That's why, yeah. Nice parry on the uh, missile. The missiles are super deceptive too because of like how slow they start. You want to like run up and power shield instantly and go for like a power, like instantly attack while like Samus is cool down. But because of the, like the slow startup of the missile, you're kind of like just trapped in shield for a little bit. Longer. I noticed something that Adbo started doing that I don't know if Tryhard Train has an answer to, and that he's been going for a uh, missile into short hop fair and shield and fading back every time Tryhard Train has tried to narrow the shield and approach him, and it just doesn't reach. Well, yeah. Yeah. The thing with that is that's kind of like a Samus. Tried and true, because you always want to try and get someone in shield with oh, an yeah. air, like some projectile, then try and you know they're gonna jump. It's an instinct in this game. Right. So you just chase the forward air. Yeah, but he's home shield and out of shield he can't doesn't really know what to do yet. Yeah. I wonder what Yoshi can do in that situation. Maybe it Realistically, if Yoshi's not able to nair safely out of that type of situation, Yoshi's kind of in a rough Maybe spot. Fair. But yeah. Adbo steals back the lead. Yeah, that's what I was trying to. I was going to comment on it. It's like Samus or this Dark Samus through that war of attrition just brought it back and now has the lead for what feels like the first time in three minutes. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, Terra Train did really good with that aggression, but Adbo did a really good job of kind of just ruining that momentum, kind of forcing the pace of the game back yeah. to a slow pace, which Tryhard doesn't want to be. Yeah, and try hard trying to just like force out the aggression too, which is not the smartest thing to do. Yep, nice there. Like the the aggression has to come from these edge guard situations, just like that. That is where try hard's going to be finding himself more successful because the war of attrition that's on stage that's going to be dark Samus all day, where you have and it's going to force Yoshi to kind of like find a way to slowly zone him, <laughs> like zone his way in through like maneuvering around the charge shots, around the missiles, around the zairs. Yep. But once you're off stage, that's where Yoshi's gonna be exce He's like excelling. So many projectiles. I don't think Tri Train's gonna match for them. Once once Adro got into his zone, Tri Train's had a really hard time kind of breaking it. And he just throws <laughs> two the other way. I think. I think in that instance he's trying to be reverse. Uh, well, I, that or he's trying to bait him into doing something where he's trying to get like a be reverse charge shot. Because a lot of people it's deceptively like it, it doesn't have that much ML. You know, it does. It's punishable, but it's deceptive. People just think it has standing. a lot more than it does. It's kind yeah. of Tri Hard Train's head right now. Yeah. Did that seriously plank at the charge shot? Yep. Yo, Yoshi hit boxes. Dude, this is where Adbo finds a lot of his strength as a player. He is like one of the clear definitions of why people regard Michigan as a zone or hell. <laughs> because Adbo is so content to just sitting all the way away from you and, and just throwing like different specials like, out. What are you going to do about it? What can you do about it? Right now, though, I will say if Tri Train gets a good edge guard, he can't take this. You just need to get a real good horizontal one. Is that 190? I think he's slowly getting to uh, kind of figuring screw, out how to like, screw attack yeah. percent. Right. Up throw might up actually throw. kill, though. Up throw should do yeah. it, yep. So uh, he was pretty much in a. Adro had like a clear win condition. The moment that uh, Tri Hard Train tries to do anything on shield that's unsafe, it's going to be upbeat. Right. And the moment that uh, he realized that Tryhard is just like City and Shield, he's going to be able to get him to the grab and up throw. Right. 
Oh, nice Simple. Hit, like, he saved that till the last stock. He barely grabbed him at all. Yeah, there was like very few grabs like that entire set. Mm -hmm. So that was really good on him. Right, so you're just going to run it back to Stadium. What do you think Tryhard Train needs to do to adjust his uh, game plan here? I think he needs to not run in blindly. Because I feel, especially when you look at that set, that stock two of his, he was just press like press the attack he was just going in and he ate 96 percent in roughly 30 seconds yeah and yoshi has ways to combat these comp like these camping tools you got eggs they bounce so like you can just position your eggs so they're going to trap your opponent and shield more and you can just slowly make your way in and yoshi's got the aerial mobility to deal with like being camped out by a dark sand so we gotta right. he's, he's gotta be a little bit uh more clear-headed yeah sitting in shield Advo capitalizes. Well, that should have been a stronger punish than just there. I'm not sure if it is, but most items that aren't, um, most items that are projectiles, which is, I do believe, just kind of beat out and just trade with, uh, Oh, no, charge he shot. doesn't have a double jump. So, I mean, if, if Charter Train finds a good way to, like, approach and space out his A cross on a full charge, he could be able to get away with, you know, not worrying about it as much. Yeah. But you know what? If he's throwing those, uh, eggs out, he's, like, at least kind of, like, tr uh, attempting it as some semblance of a counter camp yeah. strategy, which is what is really important here. Ooh, oh, yeah. He's living oh, oh, and yeah. dash attack, 129%. Very on nice Ad counter edge guard. That dash attack was so crucial mm -hmm. because how Yoshi's re reductive armor works is the moment he presses a button, the reductive armor's over. Like, yeah, he's got time where, like, after the double jump, there's a certain uh, amount of time where, like, the reductive armor's gone, but the moment he pushes any input, so, like, he clicks... Uh, a or a direction and like B stuff like that. That's when the reductive armor goes away instantly. Just eating charge shots. <laughs> so try hard train is kind of like putting himself out of his reductive armor a little too early, and Advo is kind of like capitalizing on that. And another throw. Yep. I can hear him mashing all the way from over here. <laughs> it's, it's an intense thing. Whatever you get grabbed by Samus. You... Oh yeah. Ooh. And I, I really, I realistically feel uh, having known both these players for so long. If, Tryhard Train had lost that side before killing Advo, he probably would have rage quit out, actually. Or he would have probably closed the game out. Because that's just the way it, the way it's that the Advo plays it, it's just he's trying to antagonize oh, yeah. you. I don't even feel like he's trying to. I feel like in this case he just knows that like Tryhard Train is kinda of susceptible to that sort of thing. So maybe he's just kinda of playing to that strength. Up B, that was cute yes. because it was a follow-up off of down B. <laughs> Okay, and a point blank charge shot into forward air. That's crazy. Beyond a hit stun that you're stuck in, you're trapped in. Wow. I'll say something that's really weird that I'm noticing from my try train as well. Even though he's in disadvantage, he really likes to like WP you know, into things. Mm -hmm. like, currently in the situation where I, Samus is really good at capitalizing on people who just approach the top of their landing. Yep. He was trying to do a run through an air or something and he just ran up and jabbed on the platform. Here we go. This is starting to get to that do or die situation. He gets a parry, but out of a one step ahead of him with the charge shot. That's some Yomi stuff. Like, you're there just like, all right, again. he's going to power shield this one. So he's going to jump and forward four tilt. Four tilt. Yeah, does it. Get the kill. All right. And that was like, oh, like if you look at where that set started on stock one of game 